Hey, kids. Third time's a charm, right? Once again, I'm your host, Pink Jimmy. We get another episode of Stupid Pedal Tricks. Stupid. Today, we're back here again with yet another variant of the Sky Dog. This one, I think, may be a keeper. It's got a little more balls on tap. It's a little clearer. Sounds great with two humbuckers on in the middle. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll put it through a couple of paces and see what the hell we come up with. Bear with me. Because I am in no way, shape, or form ever prepared to do this crap. Because basically it's like... I could give a shit about, like, what it looks like. I'm just interested in what the damn metal sounds like. So, anyways, there it is. Right now, I'm going to turn the fuzz control off and turn the volume for balls and a sweep full blast. Pick up that same Les Paul from the same Princeton with the same freaking settings. See if I can fit this over my humongous ass. Cause I got my coat on. It's cold down here today in the dungeon. I even got the heat on. It's so cold. All right, so perspective. Here's off. <laughs> can't tell the time when it's like that. which will give it more particular unit I'm using an audio taper uh, drive pot it really needs to be a reverse audio taper because it's gonna bunch up the drive differently reverse audio taper will make it so it pretty much smooth turns up smoothly from 0 to 10 but regular audio taper it kind of like turns up mostly doesn't do much of anything that it kind of rushes it about the last like maybe 20 degrees of the of the turn so that won't be the way that it is on the other way. There will be a lot more control and being able to actually finally dial it in easily. But anyways, let's bring up a little bit of the drive, huh? I'll put it in. Travel pickup. rock Thank <laughs> you. 
with the sweet pot a little bit. Fatter this way. Thinner this way. things where I don't have to tune this thing. Ugh, it's cold down here. Thank you. 
Fingers are cold, man. Anyways, I mean, it's like, it's really sweet, the feedback you get with it. Uh, the louder it is, the better it seems to work with that. This circuit, uh, I tried the earlier one. The input impedance was too high. It made it just too damn strident. I figure a lot of people, you know, are using solid state modelers. And in the modeler, there was just too much, you know, too much highs and too much cream. This one here, though, I think will sound pretty good. And it reacts well to the volume.
Something's on my guitar right now. <laughs> I think you get the point. As usual, I'm probably playing way, way too much crap to really fucking be able to hear what you should be able to hear on that, but I think that gives you the general idea. <laughs> the uh, C taper pot on the drive control will make a huge difference in the way that it dials in. But uh, and it's got plenty of balls on tap as it is from the fuzz face school. Uh, most of the time, I had the uh, balls full draft, you know, full blast, and I just turned up the uh, the fuzz until it sounded, however, whatever amount of bite and snarl I wanted. Um, the sweep control will let you sweep between more bass than a fuzz face and about the same amount of bass as a Dallas Range Master. Uh, there's a small series resistance in line with the input to raise the input impedance just a little bit. And I lowered the output cap just a little bit also from like the standard 100 nanofarad. It's just a little smaller than that. I think about 70%, you'll figure it out. Um, other than that, at this point, I'm going to say stick a fork in it unless uh, my friend decides it's not right yet, which is entirely possible. For me, I could play this pedal all night and be completely happy through just about any rig, including one of my old Solid State Customs. But it might not be right for everybody. We'll see what happens, you know? Um, anyways, as we always say, uh, stay tuned, right? Anyways, once again, you got your host, Pink Jimmy. Thanks for coming and stopping by. I don't know why you guys watch this bullshit. But I hope you're amused by it once in a while. Um, and, of course, the... Uh, the uh, new version of the Skydog. Uh, try and get it where you can get it in the picture. Chords kind of short going to the guitar, as opposed to the old version of the Skydog. Uh, personally, I think this one just sounds better. It's easier to use. It's got less bullshit. And there's still a bias knob inside that you can adjust to go and kind of tweak the distortion character the way you like it best. Which means... Yes, boys and girls... By tweaking that bias knob, ooh, you can get almost the same kind of effect as when you have an almost dead battery in there. So that way, um, most of us fuzz guys agree that when you have a battery that's dead to a certain point, a 9-volt battery, they just sound a thousand times better than like a nice fresh alkaline, you know? And they sound different than on a power supply. So with the bias control in there, right now, the way that I have it set up, it's pretty much cranked, you know, so that you get the maximum headroom out of it. But by turning down the bias control a little bit, 
you can get it into a range where it'll definitely start sounding really farty and horrible and be horribly misbiased. But in there, you might find a sweet spot that just really turns you on. So, just a thought, you know. And, of course, you could always play with making it like a 20K pot instead of a 10K pot, which would give you a little bit more wiggle room. But not really. I mean, it's right about where it needs to be. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Stupid Metal Tricks. I am going to finish wrapping this crap up, and I'm out of here. Peace. There's a stop button.